So after trying this power supply, and I was not 100% happy with it, and uh, it's kind of random, and I couldn't get it to work the way I wanted it to work. I don't know if it's a faulty unit or it's just behaving this strange way. So what I decided to do, I sent this back to supplier. So it's going back or to seller. Um, so then I bought this device, okay. So this is some uh, Han Mate Tech HM310. So again, this is the 30 volt, 10 amps. So I bought this device and um, it's much smaller, much lighter, but that's okay because it fits on the bench nicely and uh, that's not a bad thing. So it came up with some cables. The cables were not as good as from this device. Okay, so I like the cables and I like all the supplies that came with this with this unit much more than this one. This is everything looks a bit more cheaper, and um, it's a bit heavier actually than this, but it's smaller. So the smaller is it's okay. So I was trying this fine and um, I done the same thing. I tried the LED first, okay. So I wanted to see if I can control my or if I can power up the low current circuits with it. So let's try this out. I will set the voltage on 3.3 as well. Three point three and a current. I will limit the current to to twenty milliamps again. Okay, so three point three volts and twenty milliamps. Okay, let's switch to our output on. So that LED came on straight away. So I was quite happy with it. I said, okay. And this, I think, cost me 55 pounds, and that one was 86 pounds. So I am was quite happy with the, what I'm seeing, LEDs on. If I go into current, I can dim the LED. So if I set for some 10 milliamps, it's much dimmer now. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but it dims, okay, so. Change setting 20. So I was happy with that. And uh, the control seems to be okay and couldn't see any problems. Again, on the low, it's, it's working, but again, look, it's showing 15 milliamps. Okay, and it's in a constant current mode. The constant current, constant current mode means that it's limiting the current now. But our current setting is 20 milliamps. So I think it's uh, just an uh, error in the current measurement. But I measured the current with the multimeter on a higher current, so I didn't have much problems with it. So if I go 25, so now it's showing me 25, constant current. So, but still I have, a, I have control of current and a voltage and I can power up the LED so I can dim it by changing the voltage it's going into constant voltage now and it's, it's dimmed quite a lot so I will try to show you in this way it's just just on So it's it's okay. I could live with that. Um, the error on the current limitation, I think, is not a big deal for me. I could work with that. I can control the low currents, low voltage, fine. So then I decided to try the heavy load solenoid. Okay. So I plug this in. So 
So we're going to set this to 12 volts again. 12. I kind of like this chain. So you press the button and it just jumps from one digit. See, it's flashing 100 tenths and then you go. It could be a bit longer on the one digit because if you missed and then it just goes off, you have to restart. So 12 volts and we're gonna go into six, seven amps. Okay. So that's working fine. 12 volts, seven amps. You see it's been pulled in. So now if we go to change the current, I want to have, for example, three or let's put three and a half amps. I know that three and a half amps, it should be somewhere here. Okay, so it should pull in a bit. Okay. Which it did. It did pull in, but you can hear the noise coming out. So it's vibrating. So this is the thing I don't really like. And look at what's going on here. It just cannot control. So if I go a bit lower current. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's actually... Look. I think it's just driving on a bench. <laughs> so... So I didn't like... what This is what I didn't like on this on this power supply because look what this is doing. So my settings are 3.3 amps, 12 volts, okay? So I want to limit the current because I want that solenoid to be in, but not all the way. So I want it to be somewhere here, okay? And it, this is just all over the place. You just cannot stabilize it. I mean, I mean, look, it's, it's hammering, yeah? So 2.8 amps. <laughs> okay. So I decided not to use the supply. I don't know if this is a problem with the switching supplies or what is it, or is it because cheap Chinese supply not sure. I mean, if you go in the high current, if I go to give him full power and I don't want this control, the current control is on. It's, it's fine. It's no problem. So it's possibly depending on the application what you want to use it for. If I do limit the voltage, and I think that's maybe going to behave a bit better. So if I have six volts, you see, now it's, it's, it's working much better. So with the six volts six okay let's do a nice round number seven yeah so seven volts and i'm not limiting the current this is maximum this is 10 amp unit let's put this on the max here we go so 10 amps so my settings are 7 volts, 10 amps. So with the 7 volts, I will be limiting supply to it and I will have this unit somewhere here. Or the, sorry, the shaft is going to be pulled in, but not fully in, but it's going to be somewhere halfway there, okay? And it's taking 3.6 amps. So this way it's able to control it. So if we're controlling the voltage, it's, it's, it is now in a constant voltage mode. And if I'm going to change the voltage, so let's increase the voltage until it's going to close the shaft fully in. Okay, so look, I have 10 volts, that's fully closed now. If I start reducing the voltage, okay. 
it opens. That's fine. So two amps, it's nothing if I go about three amps, that starts to go in. So look at this, this is showing the amps. Okay, so three amps is starting to go in. So six volts, three amps. And then if I increase the voltage to seven, it goes in again. So that's okay, but uh, it's in a constant voltage mode. But if I'm trying to use to do the same thing with a constant current mode, it's not able to do it. So now I will increase the voltage, 15 volts. That's a 12 volt device, yeah. And I will reduce the current to 3.5 amps. So 3.5 amps. We know we just seen 3.5 amps. It was here and it was 7 volts. Okay. So limited current, unlimited voltage, or limited to 15 volts. It's just oscillating. It's oscillating so badly, you cannot do it. Look, it's jumping from constant current, constant voltage. And it's driving and driving around the table. Okay, so this is my experience as well on this device. So so this going back to supplier and this going back to supplier as well. So I have decided to buy the third one.